What's going on guys, Tal Jacobs here, back with another video. Today we're going to be starting a new series. It's going to be an Oblivion mod series every Friday. And for the first three Fridays, we're going over how to visually overhaul your Oblivion to make it look stunning and basically like a remastered version of the game. As you can see here, the game looks stunning. The visuals on the walls and the textures on the ground and the buildings make the game look so much more realistic and make it look like the game's just recently released instead of over 10 years ago, right? The best versions, the best places in the vanilla game to sit and look and have view beautiful environments are just enhanced by all the changes that we're going to be making. Now for the first episode here, we're going to be doing the Dynified UI and Carl's Texture Pack to make the game look much nicer. So as you can see here, the Texture Pack changes the look on the walls and the rocks and the ground and adds a more realistic view on everything. As you can see here, the roof there it changes it from just a couple wood slabs to some wooden tiles. And you can also see that the UI here changes instrumentally, makes it look so much better by minimalizing it and making you be able to see more of the screen. It's also a massive change on the map. The map becomes much bigger and everything becomes much better. Let's get right into how to install these mods. Roll the intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you've seen, today we're going to be covering how to install the Carl's Texture Pack and we'll also go over how to install the Danified UI. Uh, to do this, we're going to use two separate programs, two separate mods. We're going to be using OBSC and the Oblivion Mod Manager as well. So we'll start by how to install these first. So first you want to go and download the OBSC file. This is going to be a super quick task. Just go to the link in the description, uh, obsc.silverlock.org. Um, if you type OBS into Google, you'll find this real quick, and then just download the latest current stable version. Uh, once that's done, you should get a RAR file. You just want to open it up, and you'll end up with all these files right here. Just go to your Oblivion directory, and you just want to copy all of these files into this folder. Okay, once that's done, you can close out of the RAR file, and you can delete this obsc.zip, you do not need it anymore. Um, you want to find the obsc loader.exe and then right click, send to desktop to create a shortcut. Okay, once that's done, you can get rid of your old original launcher shortcut and you just want to rename this to Oblivion. Right, once that's done, you want to go properties, change icon, and you just want to go to the Oblivion directory uh, through this setting right here. So for me, mine's under Games, Bethesda, Elder Scrolls, Oblivion. And then you select your EXE or the icon file. Uh, hit open and the icon will show up right there. And by hitting apply, it'll change it to the file. So now we have our shortcut for OBSE made and OBSE is installed. We can Next, install the Oblivion Mod Manager right here. So just open this up. Um, the link will be in the description to this Nexus page. If you just come to the Files tab and download the OBM full installer right here, the first one, um, you'll just get an easy install program, uh, just an easy setup. So just want to drag this out. So extract this file and you just want to run this. Oops. Uh, the next, uh, I accept. Uh, make sure this is your game directory. Hit next, next. Um, if you want a desktop shortcut, then next and install. This is all fairly basic stuff, so I've kind of skipped over it pretty quick. Uh, once it's done, you can launch the Oblivion Mod Manager. All right, guys, so you're also going to download the Dynified UI. Now, there's two versions of this you can download, one or the other. You can download the traditional or the original, like I do, which is the original color. Or you can download the dark version, which is like a deep red color, kind of like the Mythic Dawn wear. So just pick whichever one you want. Just go to the Files option and select the All Mod version. So for the original, it's this one right here. And for the dark version, you'll be installing the All Mod version, which is the second one right here. Just click Manual Download and download that file. Once that's done, 
we're going to have the Oblivion Mod Manager open. This is going to be the program we can use to install all the mods. Now you can use Nexus Mod Manager if you want instead, but I prefer using the Oblivion Mod Manager. So, first we'll install the Dynafide UI. So if you open up this file, you'll see that it's just a simple O mod file, which is an Oblivion Mod Manager file. So if you just extract this to your desktop, you can see um, exactly where it is. So you just click load right here and what it'll do is it'll open up the, um, the select files. So you just want to go to your desktop or wherever you extracted it and find the uh, O mod file. It should be the only file that's visible apart from folders. So by opening it, it will open it right here. You can see that it's green, that's mean it's not activated. By double clicking on it, it will try and an attempt to activate the file. Now we'll get a setup menu next. So enter my name. And then you can select in components if you want. We may as well do this now. Um, I personally want all of these, but depending on which ones you want, you can just control click on the ones you want or shift click to select the ones you do and don't want. Or you can click the all button and then click next. And I'm fine with this. I want the normal text. And then this is important here. This is just saying that it's so you can change the some of the files around. So when this shows up, it's asking to change the font files. Just hit control and click yes. And by doing that, it'll allow it to continue. Once it's turned to dark blue, you know that it's, it's, in, it's installed correctly. So that's the Dynified UI. This, what this one does is makes the UI smaller, easier to manage, makes the map bigger. It's very important and really helps your game. Next up, we're going to be installing the Cal Texture Pack. Now, this thing is massive. Well, I say massive. It's about a gigabyte and a half. It's not that big, but it's 11 individual parts that you have to download. So. If you come to the next link in the description, which is the Cal's uh, Texture Pack 3, which is designed for the Oblivion Mod Manager, hit on the files. You're going to want to download all of the parts here. So you want to download 1 to 11, so there's 11 parts. Just click down download manually and download, download them all manually and have them somewhere where you know where they are. So I have mine on my desktop, that's where all my downloads go. Once that's done, you just want to um, select them all you see i use winrar so i can just select them all right click and then extract files here so this will just extract all of the old um or mod files to my desktop okay once that's done you'll have the all the old mod files right here so i'm going to do the exact same thing you did for the ui just hit load it's going to bring up this and then you'll see all of the old mod files if you deleted the dynified ui or mod file like i did you can select all of these ones here so just you just want to click, left click on one, then shift click on the last one. This will select them all and hit open. Now this process will take a little while. and um, Don't worry, it may go not responding. That's just because it's loading. Just don't click on it, just leave it. It'll work. It's because the files are so large. It wants to transfer them into it and it's just taking its time. So just let it do it. It'll be fine, I promise. Okay, once that's done, you notice you have part 2 to 11 in here. Now, because I just right click and extracted mine, it put part one inside of a folder right here. So this is just in the Carl's Texture Pack 3 V1.4 part one folder. So by going load, I can just open up that folder and select the OMOD file and add it to Oblivion Mod Manager as well. Then all I need to do is just activate these mods right here. So click on part one and then just hit the activate button or you can double click on it and it'll decompress the file and activate the OMOD. Um, Cal Texture Pack 3, updating all the textures. Once that's done, you can see it's turned to dark blue. You just want to do that for all the parts in order. So then do, do then do part 2, 3, 4, etc. Alright guys, so once you've installed all of the Cal's Texture Pack parts, all 11, you want to go to the Utilities um, tab on the side right here. And then go to Archive Invalidation. And you want to select the BSA Alteration setting right here. Then make sure textures is clicked and make sure generate archive invalidation entries on hash collision is also clicked and then hit update. This is going to check all of the um, textures and files, make sure everything's running correctly and um, just make sure you do this, it's, it'll help the game run smoother. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video has helped you. Next time we're going to go over how to install the character overhaul and some trees and flora increases as well to make your game look a little bit more realistic and make the people look a bit more humanoid. I hope you all have a good one, I'm Tyler Jacobs, bless Paku.